Hey everybody, it's Biggie. I promise you snacks, munchies, because we're in the Super Bowl season. So, today we're going to do four different egg rolls. And they're not what you're thinking. So, I'm going to get ready. I got everything prepped, ready to roll. And we're going to do this. So, as usual, I'll post the recipes online. I don't want to ruin another shirt. Got to put my coat on. And we're going to do it. Look forward to it. And you guys are going to look forward to it, too. This is some good. All right, guys, we're back. So everything's prepped and ready to go. I'm going to put the egg wash on the wrapper for the egg roll. The first ones we're going to do is obviously just an authentic egg roll, right? Who doesn't like those? Everyone likes those. These are, uh, this is a chicken egg roll. So what you do, you fold that in, you fold that in, you come around, you tuck, and you roll. And that's ready to roll. And we're going to do it again. I'm only going to do about four of these. It's just uh, Mary and myself. And we're not going to be a pig, but we'll be eating more than later on for Sunday. So I did make a little bit extra. And we'll put them on. So I've got the, the spread on. Okay, so put the, the egg wash down the roll. Pull the sides in. Hope you can see this as well as I can. Go up, come back, tuck it. You want it tight. Now what you do want to do is get everything ready in advance and get it dry. The drier this is, the better it's going to fry in your pan or in your deep fryer. If you don't have a deep fryer, you can use a regular pan, uh, a deep deep pan. Just put about, you know, half inch, a little bit less than a half inch of oil in there, and you can fry these things up. The, uh, the trick is, is temperature, 350, 360. When you deep fry, it's perfect. Don't be cheap with the egg wash, because that's going to hold it together. It'll also seal it from any of the juices leaking out. So that's another pro trip, uh, tip for you, if you will. And we're going to do one more of these, and then we're going to switch over to what I consider my favorite. And we'll go from there. So it doesn't matter if you put the egg wash on before or after, just make sure that it's always got the egg wash. That's all. Pretty easy stuff. It doesn't take long. It, to make the egg rolls, it will spend a little time on your prep. I suggest doing them a little bit in advance, and don't be cheap with them. You know, put the in, put the filling in there the way you'd like it. So uh, this way you have what you like, and it's special. You don't want you know generic, right? Okay, so that one's done. Now let me wipe my hands off real quick. Now we're gonna do one of my favorites, and it truly is my favorite. And you're going to love it. So just watch, and you're going to love it too. Because everyone loves what I'm going to about to do next. Everybody. And I'm trying to do this quick to make this video a little bit faster. But tell me no one likes buffalo wings. So basically, this whole thing is chopped up, fine diced chicken, cooked with your favorite sauce. You can dip it in your blue cheese, ranch, whatever it is that you like to use. Uh, these are a little bit, you want to go first with it to get your measurement in for where you're going to roll. Okay. And then come around on it, and it's the same process. There's nothing different in them at all. But buffalo chicken, if you want to call them buffalo wing egg rolls, come on, that's just the kicker, right? That's just the greatest stuff in the world. Okay, now I didn't forget the egg wash. Like I said, it doesn't matter in what order you put it on. Just make sure it's there. And we're going to move that to the middle of the diamond. Pull it up, make sure we're right where we want to be before we come into the corner. Close your corners. You want to wrap it tight so nothing falls out. Come on back in, pull it tight. And there you go. And we're going to definitely do four of these. Because they're good. Yeah, let me do this one first this time. And I gotta straighten that out. The more egg wash, the better it seals. Just remember that. It's not gonna affect the taste of what you're doing. A lot easier when you do this stuff with your hands. Just for the record. But since I'm doing it on camera, I'm not gonna stick my fingers in there with a glove. I'll just do it this way. And then we'll deep fry them, and they are gonna be delish. And I mean that delish, right? Everyone hates that word. I actually hate that word too. That one. 
and next stop. So you can always buy your wrappers. You can make your wrappers, but why would you? You buy the fresh ones. They're in the refrigerated section, and you're good to go. There's a date on them, so you can see that they're fresh. They won't hurt you. This one's going to go in a little bit crooked. I laid it down crooked, but I'm going to finish this pan up. Okay, that's done. All right. This is going to be a nice big one. You know that's going to be biggies, right? Okay, we're golden. I'm going to pull that over. Let's get this side in. Let's get this side in. Let's pull that backwards. Get that tucked in nice and tight. All right, that's number four. The next one, another favorite. How can it not be? Okay. Next one we're going to do is, just wait, you'll see. I'm going to take some pepperoni. You know where I'm going with this, right? I'm going to take some pepperoni here. I'm going to take a piece of cheese. All right. I like a little green pepper on mine. I'm going to do some green pepper in there for a nice little special treat for myself. I did grill some onions uh, with some garlic. I did the Bermuda, the purple onions, red onions, whatever you want to call them. And I also cooked them in a sweet red wine because they just taste good. And now, get some sauce in here. It might be a little bit more than I wanted, but we'll live with it. Now, on this one, you want to get that rolled up. So you want to get this going. You want to pinch a little bit above it. Get your top folded in like this on each side. These are a little bit trickier because of the sauce. And then pull that out. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit more sauce than I want. Pull that out. Pull it backwards. And roll it in. So there we got our sauce. That one's a little bit heavy. Um, it happens. What are you going to do? And once again, do the edges. The more the merrier. Do two pieces of sandwich size sliced pepperoni, which I love. By the way, this is actually a really good brand, too. I, get, I, I eat this stuff raw every now and then. Punk of mozzarella cheese, just cut it. Don't need to shred it. And I'm definitely going to go a little bit lesser this time with the sauce. Because you can dip them too. You know what I mean? Let's not forget about what we're doing here. Definitely can dip them. Okay. Boy, the dish cleanup's going to suck on this one. Too many dishes. Pull that in. Get that going. Hold this up. Pull that in. Fold. Go forward. And there you go. I have to make some plain for Mary. Her and I differ on uh, some of our flavors. All right. Put the pepperoni down. So we'll cut them in half. And this way, if she gets mine by accident with the onion and green peppers and red peppers, we can swap. You know, because we try to get along that way. A little bit of pizza sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna do them all with peppers. Peppers on this baby. A couple onions. Get them loaded up, right? That's what it's all about. Eating good. Here we go. Get this lifted up. Get that in. Get this side up. So we can keep that pepperoni rolled. Alright, and then we can drop that down. And here we go. And one more. Do a plain one for Mary. So she has two. See? Probably should do one for Quartus, our puppy. Because, you know, he's going to get some. Either, either, either way, he's eating what we're eating tonight. That's just the way it works around here. He's the boss, not us. Because he won't let you go if you don't feed him something. He will stay on you until you start hating your life. Because that's what he do. Don't spill in the next dish. Okay, here we go. Easy peasy. So 
This will be the last pizza one we do. Move it, move it. We got that. We'll roll that down this way. Get this top up and in. So we got it. There we go. That's number four. Our next one. Come on. This is everybody's favorite. This one. Let me take it first. We're doing legit Philly cheesesteak egg roll. Okay. Usually Philly cheesesteaks, the good ones are made with prime, with uh, ribeye. We stepped it up and we're doing this with beef tenderloin. So, because we like beef tenderloin. So we got that going on. And we have thinner slices of mozz. You can use provolone, it really doesn't matter. And some green pepper. The last two I'm going to do, and I'm putting onion on mine. But Mary can't have the onions, she don't like them. And basically it's the same process. Get it in order, pull it up, get this out there. Make sure you, you're okay where you're at. Pull it in. Pull this in, come in, suck it back, and roll it out, and you're done. And then we do this one, do it the same way. Now, if you really want to get into the zone a little bit more, these slices are a little bit thicker. You uh, you can egg wash the outside, roll them in flour if you want that. If you want a little bit more of a, you know, fried flavor taste, if you will, outside of the egg roll taste, uh, you can do that. It ain't going to hurt. Okay, pull that in, let that one go away. There we go. We'll do two more of these. These last two I'm going to do for me, because we're putting onions on them. I'm just going to get them ready to go right now. Yeah, they are cuts. There you go. Don't worry, we're using the next ones for our final, which is also a favorite of a lot of people. I like them all, so I make what I like. You know, it's something different. And, um, it's not something you have every day, so it's kind of a treat, if you will. Green pepper. And a little bit of my onions. These onions are absolutely delicious. I was literally taking a spoonful of them when I got them cooking them. There's everything I like about them. Okay, we'll fold that in. Pull that in, go forward, and roll it. Make all your stuff at once, let it sit, and let those wrappers seal. Uh, the better they seal, the less leakage you'll have. You won't have anything rolling out, your oil won't get too dirty, you know, so you can reuse it. All right, our last ones of the day are coming up. These are actually something everyone likes for most parts, okay? And I'm sure you're going to have an idea what it is as soon as I throw it on the first piece of meat. Guess what? We're going to do ham and Swiss. There you go. Whoop. We want Swiss. And we want a lot of Swiss. And we're going to put another piece of ham in there. I'm just using uh, the, the, the uh, store-bought uh, Virginia ham off the bone. I think sometimes they call it uh, tavern ham. That's what we're doing here. Who doesn't like ham and Swiss? Come on, especially in an egg roll, nice and fried and melty and cheesy and all that. Come on, switch the cheese if you don't like the uh, if you don't like the Swiss. You know, just switch it. It's no big deal. Because it's about what you like. And I say it to everyone when you're cooking: you do what you like. You know, you don't have to do anything by the book. You don't like garlic? Don't use garlic. You don't like pepper? Don't put pepper. You know. Easy stuff. Get this side done. Alrighty then. I'm gonna do one more of these and finish them up. Now that one's stuck down at a lock. Okay. You're probably thinking to yourself right now, boy, these guys pigs are gonna eat all these things. You damn right we are. 
You didn't think I didn't make this for a reason, did you? But we're not having anything else for dinner. This is it right here, guys. You know? We're just gonna nibble on these. That's gonna be our dinner. And uh, we're gonna enjoy, you know, let's do a Swiss and a, let's do a Swiss, a mozzarella, and a piece and pepperoni on here. This will probably be pretty good. I call dibs, Mayor. I'll share it with you if you want, but I'm calling dibs. All right. This is all. This is everything I want right here. This is going to be delicious. Use up what you cut. All right, guys. We're going to drop them in the fryer. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Time to eat these babies. Hot when you cook. So, first one's first. Okay, we're going to do the pizza. Look at that. Nice cheese. Pepperoni. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to do one baby beach right now. We can cut this video off. Ham and cheese. Boy, this is going to be delicious. And I got lucky. This is one with the pepperoni. Mmm. That is good. Pepperoni changes that. I'm telling you, it's best. From now on, we're doing that. We'll get some quarters. Don't worry about it. This one is the hot wings. Mm mm mm. Oh, yeah. Just need to dip that. A little bit of blue cheese or ranch, man. That's, that's it. And last but not least, our Philly cheesesteak made with beef tenderloin. I don't want to mix these flavors because they're all too good all by themselves. Wow. Some good stuff. We have one more to go, which is our regular authentic we're in already to grow. I always say save the bus for last. Mm mm mm. Boy, that's good, brother. I don't know anybody does a good job. So here's our regular egg roll. Woo! That one's a little hot. Give it a last to come out. But I'll post the recipe for this. Better than any single. They will you buy it in any restaurant. That I promise you. Till next time, guys. Be good. Tomorrow we'll have some more snacky, desserty. Maybe no dessert. We'll do snacks and munchies. Have a good day.